Well, the food and drink industry is reeling from the impact of level three restrictions, and that has a knock on effect on related trades, including secondhand kitchenware. There's suddenly a massive surplus of unwanted kitchen utensils on the market as restaurants close up shop across the country. Multiple secondhand merchants say there's almost too much spare equipment to handle. This Indonesian restaurant has pulled the iron grill down for good. Level 3 restrictions have been too much to bear for this 25 year old business. On some days, we didn't even make 1,000 NT. We will never open up again. Its bustling heyday is a memory now. The restaurant owner reluctantly decided to sell all the old tableware and kitchen utensils to a secondhand kitchenware store. I'm here in the warehouse. You can see piles of kitchenware everywhere, but also brand new dishes and chair coverings that have never been opened. It's not just secondhand goods here. Some restaurants have sold totally unused products, like unopened boxes of ramen bowls. In just one month of frantic purchasing, this businessman says his two warehouses are full almost to bursting. I can't take any more. There's no space for it, nowhere to put it. We sell it as cheap as possible so long as we earn something on it. We're not trying to get as high a price as we can. Another tableware merchant is in an even tighter conundrum. He's told us it's been impossible to sell anything for the last month. The warehouses are all full and almost all the restaurants are fully stocked. Lots of restaurants have collapsed. I sort through everything offered to me now. I don't take really old things, only the new stuff. With many businesses folding and no new eateries opening to take their place, there's a glut of unwanted kitchenware flooding the market. These sellers hope the public's appetite for chef-made food perks up again soon.